Today we're going to talk about the second method of graphing a line and it's called the point slope method. But the first thing we have to talk about here is the slope. What is the slope and how do you find the slope? So the first thing we have the slope, we usually use the letter M to uh, describe the slope. It's the letter we use for that. The slope of a line is defined as the rise over the run. In other words, M or slope, in other words, is rise over run. And the rise is the Y direction, up and down, the vertical direction change in y and the run is the x direction the the uh, change in or the distance uh, vertical or the horizontal distance sorry x is horizontal so um because we have the y axis we have the x axis over here and uh so let's look at how we do this first of all um we look at line a and the first thing we do is look for two places where it the line goes through a spot where it crosses to an, an intersection point. Well, there's an intersection point down here, it looks like. That's pretty, looks like it's an intersection point right there. At that point, and it looks like there's another intersection right about there. So once you got your two intersection points, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line. A line, you can make a triangle. So you, from the bottom one, you draw it straight across. I'm just going to freehand it here. And the other one straight down make like a right triangle okay and then all you do now is the this is this here is the horizontal distance that's the run and this distance this here is the rise so in this this for this uh, uh, line line a the rise is one two three four the rise is four. Just count those so four. So the rise over the run. The run is one. So the slope is just four over one, which can be reduced to four. Let's do the same thing with uh, B here. In B, we have uh, it touches right there. It touches the intersection right there. So I can make my my triangle straight down from the top one, straight across from the bottom one. And the the run here is two one two. So the bottom number is two. The rise is one two three four five. And there's the rise, five over two. Let me just leave it like that as an improper fraction. It's okay. So that slope is five over two. Let's do one more then. We'll do the last one. Well, let's take a look. There, it looks like it crosses at a few points here. There's a point there. A point there, a point there, a point down there. Let's just take a couple of them. I'm just going to take um, this one here, draw straight across, and use that point. It doesn't matter which two you choose, you're going to get the same ratio Okay, for slope. And so in this case here, the run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 here. The rise is 2. So rise over run is 2 over 6. And uh, one thing I do, do I will do here is I'll reduce it. I can divide top and bottom by 2. Give me 1 over 3 as the slope for that uh, reduced number there. Slope of that third one, C. So that's the slope, rise over run. And uh, let's make a triangle, right triangle. I should pick two points, and then you can go from there. Okay, well, how can, then it brings us to the point, how can we graph a line when given a point on a line and the slope of the line? So if I give you a point and the slope, plot plot that line. Well, first one thing we do is plot the point. That's number one, plot the point on the graph. Number two, find a second point by using the slope. Okay, and what we do is we just start from the first point and move over. The, the x direction, the direction gives us the horizontal distance and the, and the, and the, uh, the uh, top of the slope, top slope number gives us the y up and down direction. And then uh, once we get those third and fourth points, we can get two, three, four points. We can join those points with a line, straight edge, and we've got our graph. So let's just do a couple examples. There's three here. We'll do at least a couple of them. Okay, first one, negative five, negative one. So where's that point going to be? Okay, so negative five, negative one. So that's five, two. So x is, this is the x, this is the y. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and down 1. 
There we go. And the slope is one half. So rise. And remember for that this is the rise. And this is the run. Okay. So the rise is one and over two. It's positive two, so two to the to the right. Up one, over two. I can keep doing that as long as it's still in the graph here and get a few points. And uh, we're right across there. So if we draw and then we just then the last thing we do is just draw a line through those points. Let's see if our draw tool will work here for this, if I can try and get that to work. So let's just get this draw tool working here. If I can get that out there. There we go. That looks okay. So there we go. That's our line. Using those points, we've got our line going there. Let's do another one. Okay, this one's 1, negative 6. So in this case here, I go, this is the x. So let's just change this uh, x and y. So I go over 1, down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so the slope is, is 3, which this is the same as 3 over 1. Make it into a fraction, so I have to put it over 1. So the rise is 3, the run is 1. Okay, the rise is 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, 1. You can just keep doing this as many times as I want. I don't have to keep making As long as I do two or three points, usually three or four is good. And I'm going to try and draw a line through this like I did the last one. We'll try and do the draw tool here. And let's see. Uh, draw. And let's. Uh, there we go. And we'll start down here. And something like this. Do the best we can to make this work. Okay, we got the second one. So this this line here was uh, this was one. Let's just put that in here. This one here. This is one. And this one here is two. One more example. If I want to graph this one, I do the point negative 3, 5. So let's just uh, do this here. Negative 3, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's a point right there. And now it says negative 3, 5. So in this case, the slope is negative 3, 5. So let's do this. The slope is equal to negative 3 over 5. So the rise run. The rise is negative 3. The run is 5. What does it mean negative? Well, it means down. Instead of going up, I go down. 1, 2, 3. And the run is positive 5. If it was negative, I go to the left. But because it's positive, I'm going to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. And I think if we do that again, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's going to be off the, off the chart over here somewhere. So we can't uh, put another point down there. But I can kind of line this up, and uh, let's draw it with two points. As long as we have at least two, that's the main thing. Try to line this up here. Okay. And there we go. And this is our point, point number three. Or sorry, line number three. We drew each of those with only two pieces of information, a point to start with and a slope. 